Okay, so the first card is about dealing with a painful past. As, you know, there might have been some enlightenment uh, or some information coming to a light. You've got this lightning bolt over here. Now, you're trying to make things move forward. You're trying to end the cycle. You've got a 10 over here. Um, and you've got uh, Saturn. Saturn is usually a planet of lessons, restrictions. So you've learned a lot of painful uh, lessons from the past. And uh, you're now trying to deal with these lessons. Uh, so you're dealing with painful past. Uh, you've got the moon over here, and it's making you feel a little depressed because the moon card is always about, you know, being agitated and anxious and upset about things that happened. Maybe you had issues with your mother uh, because that is, you know, it's ruled by cancer and the crab there. So you, you've got maybe some issues that you're dealing with regards with regards to your mother. That is um, coming to an end. That cycle is coming to an end. So you're starting to get on top of it right now, but you're still having to deal with it. So you're trying to end that cycle where you have to face, um, you know, your a painful past. And you're very, very emotional about it. You've got this double moon card over here. So, uh, you know, being very, very... Um, you know, almost not being able to move forward because of things from the past that have come into focus for you right now. So, you know, feeling very de depressed, really feeling very, very down, trying to move on. You're trying to start a new cycle over here. So in the past, you've got Michael here. So Michael is... Uh, um, the card of justice, divine justice, or even dealing with legal situations. You've got a sun, the sun there. So this is, you can see there's a sword of truth there. This is also legal issues that you're dealing with and having conquered it. So if you were involved in some kind of legal um, case or battle, it seems like you have won this case and you are um, you know, now able to move. You've got a lot of power due to uh, being able to sort that legal problem out. And uh, there was a not, lot of manipulation involved here within this case. So uh, you might be dealing with people that were very manipulative in this particular circumstance. It could have been some kind of legalities in a work situation because you've got Saturn and Saturn deals with work. And you've been putting, you know, there were very negative people that you were dealing with. Mars is about dealing with aggressive people. So they were very manipulative and, you know, they seem to disempower you as well. So that happened in the past. Now going into the future, you've got the Mars card coming into your hand. So power coming back into your hand again. It seems like you're taking control. You're managing to focus again. You've got this bow and arrow about focusing your, your energies. And the horse about moving forward in life. And um, you've got the final card, uh, which is the creative projects, and you're going to have some success coming in. So a lot of new ideas. Whatever you're going through is inspiring you to start again, start afresh, and it's bringing in some new ideas and new insights as well for you. And whatever you're doing, um, you know, a lot of mental inspiration, a lot of creative inspiration coming as well. So you're learning a lot of lessons. Although you're going through a very difficult period now, you will get your power back in your hand again, and you will... Uh, you know, have a new way of looking at things, a very uh, creative way of looking at things. You'll be able to employ this in your daily life. So whatever lessons you're going through, you're going to be able to use it to move forward. So these are the energies for that week. Okay, so I'm using the Green Witch Tarot for the um, oops main read. And I put that in the description box. Let's see what it's got to say. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the tower. So something has come in for you that has changed all the energies. It's uh, been very disrupted. There's a lot of drama over here. It seems like there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of fighting and arguing. You can see all these people are in battle here. A lot of drama coming in over here that is causing, um, you know, the things that you, you held very dear to you as far as concepts or ideals it's all breaking down at the moment. So you're going through a big shift, a big change in energy. Um, it's almost um, making, uh, you know, what you were basing your foundations on, it's all crumbling right now. So a big change in energy coming, a lot of insight coming in. But there seems to be um, people that you're fighting with. Um, the tower is ruled by Mars. You could be dealing with another fire sign, which is in Aries, usually uh, rules Mars, bringing in new uh, changes, insights, big shifts of energy over there. Something, uh, you know, maybe a series of events coming in that is causing a lot of chaos and drama in your life right now. 
So you've got the Seven of Wands over here and the Earth Mother. Now you have had, you know, you've had to fight a lot of problems. You're dealing with the problems one at a time, but it looks like you have the tools to be able to sort these problems out. Now this woman's got all these knives, uh, all these rather these rods on the. Um, above the man for peace over there, uh, you know, as though she's fought a lot of battles and for each battle she has learned something. And now you're able to use um, that and fight whatever problems you have now. So you're taking down, you're actually going deep within you and looking at how you've dealt with situations and using those ideas now to sort out problems. You can see she's standing on a stool. You're reaching deep within yourself or reaching out uh, for those you know, um, lessons that you've learned in the past to be able to deal with your your problems, deal with this tower situation. So you're employing all your um, your skills, all your, your weapons from your arsenal to be able to sort out things. You put things into storage, obviously, uh, things that you don't want to deal with, you've locked them away. There's some communication coming in as well. So you're, maybe you're waiting for some kind of message, but you're getting ready for a battle here. And you can see you're standing up firm. You've got an idea in your head that you want to go forward. And this is the card of, you know, being a winner. So you want to win the situation. You are, um, you know, you are getting all your troops, you're rallying all your troops um, together so that you can fight and win this battle. She's got this wand in her hand. So you've got the, your, your power in your hand. Um, you know, this is also a card of pregnancy. You could be pregnant as well, and you're ready to fight anybody that uh, comes and says anything about you being pregnant now. But it looks like you're, you're getting yourself prepared and ready to fight and win some battle. So in the past, you've got the Seven of uh, Athamas, which is the Seven of Swords. And this is dealing with a very difficult situation. Now, you've got the... Um, this looks like a skunk here, and it looks like you de you've dealt with a situation that was not really nice. It, it wasn't a good, it obviously didn't smell very well. Uh, you know, and you can see this person's also uh, got all the weapons on their back over here. So you are really, you have all uh, that you need, all the tools that you need to be able to sort these problems. And you're not taking no prisoners. You can see he's carrying a whole bunch of um, uh, animals that he's caught. So it looks like you are going to win this battle no matter what. So, uh, you know, you're not going to give anybody a chance. It seems like you've been facing this this uh, sort of problem. Now, with the Seven of Swords, it's always talking about deception, lies, uh, things that are, uh, you know, a lot of deceit. So maybe this is what you've been dealing with recently. So something was not um, something didn't smell right. Let me put it to you that way. So there was a there was a lot of deceit in the situation that you've been dealing with. A lot of sneaky behavior, and uh, you are ready now for a, for a fight. You are gearing up to fight. You got the seven of pentacles over here. So you are vest investing a lot of time uh, and effort in whatever project that you have. So whatever fight or battle that you have, you are going all out for it. You're investing all your energies in it. Well, the Seven of Swords is also about, you know, um, investing a lot of time and effort in your work. Maybe you're focusing on work. Maybe this is a battle that you have to fight in your workplace and you are ready and you are geared up for it. You are putting all your effort and time and you are very focused. You can see this man is not even looking at anything else but these coins and he's working hard at it. And you can see a bird coming in over here. So there are some news that you are waiting for. You are expecting some news to come in, some sort of information to come in. Now, the Nine of Cups is showing that you are very focused on this and you want a victory. You want to be able to achieve whatever you have, and you're relying on your own instincts to achieve success in whatever battle you're going to be fighting. And it looks like it is coming in because you've got this tower card over here, so something is coming in to shift the energy, but it seems like you have been preparing for it. You are quite ready. Now, going to the future, you've got the star card over here, and this shows a victory. So you need to get rid of any negative thoughts. Whatever you're fighting against, you're going to be victorious in, uh, provided that you uh, get rid of any kind of negative thoughts or negative behavior. It seems like you need to throw out all that negative behavior look to um you know look um to the future with hope and it also looks like you'll get a lot of recognition uh once you sort out this particular problem uh and it looks like you're being divinely guided uh, as well in the situation so going into uh, what's going on with you You've got the Six of Pentacles. There looks like there is some kind of deceptive behavior going on as far as money goes. You can see this man's hiding the coins behind the back over there. So, you know, it looks like you will receive uh, some kind of financial um, um, payoff as well. Somebody giving money out. But there looks like there might be some kind of deceptive behavior going on with regards to finance as well. So somebody not revealing all the facts, maybe somebody is pilfering on the side over there or not giving you all uh, that you um, 
or your just rewards or not giving you what you deserve. So uh, it seems like, you know, you get that information. There's a bird over there. So, you know, um, maybe somebody has seen something and will come and give you that information. But there looks like there's a bit of deception going on there as far as money goes. Uh, so you're dealing with that kind of situation. Maybe you're being very generous, but somebody is stealing uh, from you. So just watch out for that. So what's going on around you? You've got the Three of Pentacles here. You are very focused on your work, uh, collaborating with a lot of people, uh, working very, very hard and getting that recognition uh, and you're overcoming obstacles as well. And whatever you're building is producing, uh, you know, very firm foundations. So you're getting uh, a lot of recognition and, uh, you know, people are uh, rec you know, seeing that you, um, you're you very good at what you do. You're managing to collaborate with a lot of people. And, you know, I always say the Three of Pentacles is about building cathedrals, putting that hard work in and getting really big results from it so um what you're worried about you 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 are aware that there's some kind of deception going about that things have not uh, come to light that there are hidden facts that somebody is lying about something and uh, somebody's also behaving very very childishly and maybe this is the person that you're dealing with so going into the future um, you've got the Wheel of uh, Fortune, you've got the Horned God and the Standing Stone. So the Wheel of Fortune is saying that things are going to start moving in your direction. So even though the Tower is coming, it's going to produce, it's going to turn this Wheel of Fortune. So it's going to produce a lot of positive change uh, in your life. And there's news coming in as well. And there's a lot of power coming in. So a big change coming in over here, a big change in your money status as well. And you'll get news about that soon. You've got the Horned God over here. So this is taking control, being in... in uh, in charge and this might be um, that you're getting some kind of promotion uh, some kind of um, you know elevation of your status your financial status also being in a very authoritative position and being in control of a lot of people and communicating with a lot of people and it seems like whatever you say people listen to so you're very much in charge of a lot of energy and a lot of uh, you know taking you're in control and so this could be well a, a promotion um, and a really good one as well and then you've got the standard, standing stone, which is the justice card, which is about achieving, uh, you know, uh, maybe signing new contracts. So this could well be coming in for you. So it looks like there's some kind of authority position that you're getting. There's some kind of justice or legal decision made or even signing new contracts. And this is also about the people that have done you down getting their karmic justice as well. So beware of that. It's the standing stone. This is the single stone standing. So uh, nobody will be able to overcome you. You will overcome that circumstance as well. And, you know, the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot, and that's going to be for um, uh, the Oracle Read. And you've got the Release card, so the end and phase of a situation, spiritual transformation, and time to move on. So this is the Death card, the end of the old, and something brand new coming in. So there's go it, it looks like there's going to be some kind of, maybe there'll be a confrontation of some sort, and that allows you to leave the past behind and move forward. And then you've got the magician, which says you are ready. You have all the resources or the ability to manifest. Life is meaningful. So once this energy goes away, this disruptive energy goes away, and you deal with it completely and let it go, it looks like the magician comes in for you, and you're able to start afresh because it's a number one card. It's starting a beginning and having a lot more power in your hands to do a lot more. So everything you think about, you will be able to manifest. So a lot of abundance coming in. And you've got the five of fire, which says... Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So whatever situation you're dealing with is very competitive and you're dealing with a lot of people that are have got their own opinions and what they want to say and, you know, very disruptive people. But with the magician, it looks like you have the energies and you have the uh, tools to deal with this with these people and you will be uh, very successful because you'll be able to conquer that so any kind of conflicts walk away from it don't deal with a conflict because that's expending energy you don't need to deal with uh, in order for you to be successful and a successful manifester to bring in the wheel of fortune over there and to take control of that situation you need to you know not engage unnecessary in uh, in unnecessary battles so pick your fights uh, and you know make sure uh, that they know who so that you show who's boss and you show your power. So don't deal with uh, don't um, deal with energies that are disruptive. Rather walk away from conflicts. Uh, you know, fight another day and fight to win. Uh, and it looks like you have all the tools you need, especially with this uh, seven of wands, having all the tools in your arsenal. And, and the magician always has a 
a bag full of tools that they can sort out problems with. So it looks like you will win. You have everything that it takes. You just have to have that self-confidence and you'll be able to move forward. So, uh, you know, big change, big shifts in energy. Be aware of that, but know that you are going to be a winner because you have everything you need to fight this battle and win. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.